Hello and welcome to the DocuSign Spring CM contract lifecycle video demo presented by Spalding Ridge. Today we will be covering a contract generation with dynamic clauses, a customer review with their red lines, an internal company review, and how a contract can be sent and signed through DocuSign. Let's get started. As a sales rep, I will locate the Opportunities tab, select the opportunity I want to generate a contract for, and in this case it's Phase 1 Implementation. I will then review the fields to make sure that they are accurate, and if I want to generate a contract, I will push the Generate Contract button. This will prompt me to a Spring CM Doc Launcher form, where I can select which kind of contract I want to generate an NDA, Master Service Agreement, a Spanish Master Service Agreement, or if I need to upload third-party paper. You can also search on this form for keywords. As you can tell, it only pulled up Master Service Agreements. In this case, I'm going to generate a Master Service Agreement for this opportunity. It'll prompt me to a form where I need to review the fields. These fields are being pulled in from the opportunity as you can see, the customer address is being pulled in from the account, which is Spalding Ridge. The sales rep will enter in the customer email. This customer email is going to be used when sent for DocuSign, DocuSign signature. Sales rep will hit next. And because the practice was Anaplan, it is going to generate a Anaplan Master Service Agreement. Some of the fields that, that were pulled in and merged onto this template were the account name, the account address, and because it was an Anaplan opportunity, the Anaplan scope of agreement was pulled in and merged into this template. Additionally, the account name and the account name were also merged down here. Now, let's say that it was a DocuSign Spring CM opportunity. Sales rep can update it here, hit save. Generate a contract. And again, we want to generate an MSA for DocuSign Spring CM. Same form, the practice was updated to DocuSign Spring CM and the customer email will be entered. Sales rep will hit next. And because it was a DocuSign Spring CM opportunity, that is the MSA that was created. You can tell by the scope of agreement is different than Anaplan. Sales rep will hit save, and that is how a contract is generated from Salesforce. Once the contract was generated by the sales rep, it is automatically sent to the customer for a review. This is what the customer will receive when sent for review. This is the email with the account, the opportunity name, and the rename of the document so that they know what they are dealing with. A customer will come in here and click review and edit document, and they will pull up this document. This document is the same document that was generated. As you can tell, the scope of agreement is still Spring CM, the account, and the address. A customer will review this, and let's say that they don't like something in the document and they want us to send in a red line. A customer will download open this document enter in their red line save Upload their document that they just redlined, phase one, hit next, and provide their comments. And hit finish. This is a customer review. Once a customer completes their review, it will be automatically sent back to your company. There are two ways to review this. You can click on task and the CLM admin team can view all their tasks here listed. The task that just came in was this one right here. You could tell 
by the info column, the account name, and the, the opportunity name. Another way for you to review task is to open your email. I received an email because the customer sent back to review. The account name, the opportunity, and the practice are all pulled in from Salesforce. And to view this task, I click this button. With clicking that button, it opens the task page. This process is comparing the documents. It is comparing the first initial document that was sent to the customer and the document that was sent back from the customer. This will show the red line that the customer made. Additionally, the CLM admin team can see all the comments and track all the comments. They can see their first comment, which was please review this MSA, and they can see the customer's comment. Once the comparison is done, the CLM admin team can scroll down to see the edits. As you could tell, the red line from the customer has been highlighted red and underlined. Once the CLM admin user has determined what they want to do with this contract, they can choose from a drop down list. They can send for signature, send it to the customer for signature and for the internal signature. They can send it back for a customer review with comments, or they can send it for an internal review, or they can void the contract. In this demo, we will send for an internal review. We will be sending it to legal. Once the CLM admin user decided that they wanted to send for a legal internal review, the legal team has received a task. Once the document has loaded and the items have been compared, they can come down and see the red lines. Legal can make the decision on if I want to download and edit it, or we can say we accept those. In this case, we're going to send back the CLM admin user to send for the customer with legal's comments. We will now be sending them the fallback clause. Once the legal team has reviewed and provided their comments, it was sent back to the CLM admin user to go from there. Again, there are two ways to view their task by clicking here and also the task page in the Spring CM environment. For this case, we're going to click here. It's going to open the document again with the activity. They can see that the legal team has provided these comments. From there, the CLM admin will know what to do. The CLM admin team will now use the feedback and comments from the internal review from the legal team to make those edits and enter in the fallback clause for section 3.2. The CLM admin user will do this by clicking edit, open Spring CM edit, and clicking open document with red lines. Spring CM edit will now open your contract within Microsoft Word with the red lines. A cool feature, and it's an add-on in Microsoft Word, is the Clause Bot Library with Spring CM. The Clause Library will open up all your clauses that are in your org. We will be using the fallback clauses for 3.2. Because this is confidentiality, I know I need to use the confidentiality clause. A user will highlight the clause that they want to edit Click the plus, can preview the clause that they were going to insert, and click insert. After Microsoft Word is done loading, you can see that section 3.2 now has the fallback clause and there are no more red lines. The CLM admin user will now come to file and hit save. After hitting save, because we're using Spring CM Edit, it is automatically uploaded back to the task page. Now that we are back on the task page, we can see that section 3.2 has been updated to the appropriate fallback clause that we chose. The CLM admin user can now send for signature. The order of signatures is as follows. 
it'll be sent to the customer for their signature and then sent back internally for our signature. As a customer, I have received an email through DocuSign from SpringCM telling me to DocuSign this document. I will open the document, hit start, and it will bring me to where I need to sign. I will hit sign, I can adopt, or I can draw. For now, I will adopt this one that DocuSign generated for me. Adopt and sign. My name is already populated. The sign day is already populated. I just need to enter in my title. Now that the customer has signed it, it has sent to the internal signer. The internal signer can view this on their iPhone too. I will be signing it through my iPhone. DocuSign will open. Hit continue. Same process as a desktop. Internal signer will hit start and it will bring them to where they need to sign. I will click on sign and I'll click on where I need to type in my title. And hit finish. The contract has now been signed by both parties. Once both parties have signed the contract, the contract is complete. The customer will receive an email from DocuSign with the contract in a PDF version. The customer can roll down and they can see that both parties have signed this contract. Additionally, you can view the fully executed contract in SpringCM's contract repository. Click on the account name, the practice that the opportunity was associated with, Contract type, completed, and here it is, Phase 1 Spring CM Implementation MSA in PDF format fully executed. Here is the document, as you can see, Section 3.2 is there, the fallback clause that we inserted, and additionally, it is signed by both internally and externally. Another thing to point out are the attributes for this contract. The vendor agreement status has now been updated to signed and completed. High level information of this contract include account name, opportunity name, vertical, contract type, and the account's address. Also, because 3.2 was edited and used the fallback clause, the question for confidentiality changed, it was updated to yes. From all of us at Spalding Ridge, we appreciate your time and attendance during this demo. Thank you.